Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you what's on my iPad and my favorite apps for note taking, productivity, creativity, customization, self care, and more. So stay tuned if you're interested in finding out what are the best apps, and most of these are also free to download. I recently upgraded to the M2 iPad Pro in 12.9 inch along with the second gen Apple Pencil. On my old iPad, I was running out of storage space, so now that I have 256 gigabytes, I went on an app downloading spree and I'm super excited to share with you what I found. I have a lot of apps to go through, so I'll try not to spend too long on each one. For my iPad accessories, I bought this case on Amazon as well as the Apple Pencil sleeve that I'm using. I'm also using a paper fill screen protector because I do a lot of handwriting on my iPad. On my home screen, the wallpaper is from my freebies vault and these custom icons are for my most used apps and here are shortcuts to my digital planner and manifestation journal in GoodNotes app. My channel is all about digital planning and GoodNotes lets you import in PDF digital planner files, which you can write on with your Apple Pencil. I use my planner to stay organized and track things like my schedule, to-do list, goals and habits. I also use GoodNotes for digital journaling and you can get templates for tracking anything you can think of like this reading journal. I also have Colonote, which is a totally free note-taking app. It has lots of useful features, and this is what I recommend for digital planning if you are looking for a GoodNotes alternative. I have a free digital planner as well as tutorial videos if you're interested in finding out more. I love to customize my iPad home screen with wallpapers, widgets, and icons, and here are my favorite apps. I use Photo Widget to create image widgets, and there's a huge selection of cute and aesthetic widgets for things like time and date, calendar, battery, quotes, and more. I also have Widget Smith, which has similar widgets, but they're more of a minimal style, I would say. Another easy way to get image widgets is with Pinterest app. You can browse images and save them to different collections and display them using the Pinterest widget. Bears is a cute app that lets you create countdown widgets for things like birthdays, upcoming events, and deadlines. On my home screen, I also have this widget from Zen Flip Clock, and the animated pixel widgets are from MD Clock. I love to draw digitally on my iPad, and this is how I make all of my digital planner stickers. I have tried out different drawing apps, and Procreate is my favorite, and I think it's worth the price. It's just super intuitive and easy to use, and you can also create your own brushes. For free drawing apps, I also have Sketchbook, which is good if you just need the basic tools. I had so much fun playing with Artset. It has realistic tools like oil paint and the colors blend in with so much realism. I can't wait to create a painting with this. For pixel art lovers, Pixel Able lets you create your own pixel art and you can choose your own grid size and create layers. Next, I have some apps that I think are really useful tools. I use iPhone app for installing custom fonts to use in my digital planner, and you can find a ton of free fonts. If you're looking for aesthetic color palettes, Coolers lets you browse and save different palettes, and you can copy and paste the hex codes into note-taking apps like GoodNotes. This next one is actually a website, but I use MonkeyType all the time for typing practice, and you can also create a shortcut on your home screen. I also have the calculator app, which you can have open in a split screen, and I like that you can customize it with different color schemes. I currently use my digital planner in GoodNotes to track my daily routine and habits and help me focus on my goals and priorities. And here are some great apps that also help with productivity. I've been using the Pomodoro technique to stay focused, which is where you work on a task for 25 minutes and then take a break. And this forest app lets you grow trees for your forest. And if you stop the timer before it's complete, you kill the tree, so there's an incentive not to. Smile To Do is a cute app for tracking your daily habits. You can choose their frequency. And when you complete a habit, you just tap on it to color it in. And there's also a widget for your home screen. If you need a more detailed habit tracker, this one lets you track exactly how much progress you've made on a particular habit, like the number of steps you walked in a day, and you can get stats over time. I love making to-do lists, and you can structure them into a daily timeline using Structured, and you can also get notifications and widgets for your home screen. Then I have Routinery, where you create routines like a morning routine, and then you add habits into this routine. You set how long each habit takes, and then you start the timer to begin doing it. I've been trying to focus more on self-care recently, and here are some great self-care apps. Finch lets you take care of a virtual pet, and when you complete self-care exercises, it helps to grow your pet and you earn rewards. You can set daily goals, and there's lots of mindful exercises you can do. 
Then I have Insight Timer, which is a guided meditation app. And there's also soundtracks for relaxation and sleep. And you can also add inspirational quote widgets to your home screen. If you like quotes on your home screen, I Am is a super simple app that gives you daily positive affirmations. I also have Stoic app, which has daily quotes and prompts for you to reflect on and journal about with the aim of improving mental health and changing negative thoughts. And I can definitely see it doing that. I prefer to journal with words, but if you don't want to write anything, Daily Bean lets you keep a daily journal where you tap on different choices to record things like your mood, emotions and daily activities. And you can also add in a daily photo. I've been wanting to read more and I like to be able to keep track of what books I'm reading or would like to read. I'm currently using my reading journal in GoodNotes, but here are a couple of apps that are also great. Reading List lets you quickly find and add books by searching the title or scanning the barcode. You can rate books and write a note and create different books lists. I also have Goodreads app, which is great for finding new book recommendations and reading book reviews. Next, I have a couple of coloring apps for relaxation because I find it more enjoyable to color in digitally. I have Lake app and although I'm not a fan of the color wheel, I love that you don't have to worry about going over the lines and you can either color in using brush strokes or you can fill an area with a single tap. I also have color by number for pixel art and this one is super easy and fun to do. Next, I have my favorite photo and video editing apps. I mostly use these on my iPhone, but these can also be used on the iPad. InShot is easy to use and you can add video transitions, effects, stickers and text. I also like CapCut for video editing, which have similar features. Onto my photo editing apps, I have Lightroom, which has tools for editing your photos like brightness, saturation and hue. I also have Prisma, which turns your photos into art style paintings. And there's lots of different art effects to choose from. I have a couple of learning apps and these are great for learning new skills like languages. I've been using Duolingo for improving my Chinese and the lessons and quizzes are very good and fun to use. I also have Quizlet, which lets you create your own study flashcards or you can find ones created by other people. Next, I'll run through some of my most used default Apple apps. Shortcuts app is super useful for setting up custom shortcuts for apps and files. And I also use this for linking between my digital planner and Apple calendar. I will definitely be making more use of the calendar app now that I have links from my planner. And I made a separate video about that if you want to know more. I use the Reminders app for displaying reminders on my home screen, and I like that you can drag and drop handwritten notes from apps like GoodNotes. Anyways, let me know what are your favorite apps and if you have any recommendations. Please give me a thumbs up if you found this video useful, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post new videos. Check out my other videos in the meantime, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching!